All right, my friends, how are we? It's Jake here from Jake Reacts. Welcome back to another reaction video. I've got three coming at you. The first of which is the men's 4x100 meter relay um, at the SEC Outdoor Track and Field Championships um, held on the weekend of the 13th to the 15th of May, 2021. This is a highly anticipated race. We've got Georgia and Matthew Bowling versus LSU and Terence Laird, as well as the rest. If either of those schools don't win this race i'm going to be surprised but stranger things have happened so three races the four by 100 the 100 meter final and the 200 meter final there's two guys that we all know about at the moment we're all tracking or at least i am and that is matthew bowling and terence laird they are possibly going to be the anchor both going to be the anchor legs of each of their respective teams in this race look i've said too much already let's get into it I cannot wait to see what happens here. And this is <laughs> this is probably layered, I'm going to say the least anticipated of the 3. And that's saying something. Walk down. Walk down a Houston athlete and it was maybe the fastest 4 by 100 meter leg we've ever seen. There was the Arkansas inside of them by two lanes. Arkansas believe it or not has gotten the baton around 7 times successfully. George is in 3. Alice using six. I tell you what, Ole Miss could use uh, old DK Metcalf at this time. I wonder if he did run track for Ole Miss. I don't think he did. This season, that consistency. But he certainly ran track the other weekend. Is really showing for Arkansas. Number of good teams in this in this heat though. Ole Miss, Florida, Georgia, Arkansas, Florida, 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 LSU, Texas A&M, Kentucky, Kentucky Arkansas, and Mississippi LSU, State. Texas A&M can get it done, and Georgia on the inside. Now, if Bowling and Laird are both on the anchor leg of their respective teams. We're going to be in for a real, real exciting finish. Keep an eye on them when they finish. They'll finish with Matthew Bowling on the anchor leg. Facility record is 39-23. That is almost certain to go. LSU. SEC record, 39-23. That's averaging under 10 seconds per 100 meters. Now, I know they get a rolling start, but still... You've got to hand the baton over, and that's not easy. Just loaded with talent as far as speed is concerned. Their anchor, Terrence Laird, will see him in the 100 and oh. the 200, as Dan had mentioned before. Yes, boy. There is Arkansas. If they were able to get the people who they did get through to finish in the higher places, they could be favored to win the team title. It's going to be a great battle, and we're going to see a lot of lead changes throughout the afternoon. I'm nervous. So. George is in three, LSU is in six or five. I can't even remember. One is open. Then Great Ole start Miss, by Georgia. Georgia. Arkansas, Florida, LSU, Texas A&M, Kentucky, and Mississippi State on the outside. Great start by Georgia. Good start for LSU and an outstanding pass. There you see Noah Williams for LSU. Oh, this is going to be exciting, man. Devin Let's go. From Texas Let's go, boys. Another good pass for LSU, but they have got a lot of... Go, Georgia! Kentucky even looking good. Florida is right oh, this there is exciting. Well. Go, boy! But they get Let's go! Terrence Laird White lightning. Hands. Terrence Laird has... Oh, my God, what's he going to do? Is he going to pull it back like he did in the 100-meter heat? I reckon, at this stage, you'd have to say Matthew Bowling got it. But, from what I've seen recently, I'm going to say... I'm going to go out on a whim here and say that Terrence Laird brings it back for his team. He is faster than Matthew Bowling. And that's exactly what we've just seen. That's exactly what we've just seen. It's LSU, Georgia, and it looked like AM for third. Unbelievable. Terrence Laird is now overtaking Matthew Bowling as the biggest superstar in college foot in college track and field. He is. And that's saying something. Give Terrence Laird a running start. Unbelievable. And he's gone. 10 points for the Tigers. Oh, I'm shaking. That was that was incredible. This guy is absolutely amazing. We've seen him do this a couple times as he gets off the track as fast as he can. He's going to have a long afternoon. Noah Williams I wouldn't be surprised if Terrence Laird and LSU win the 4x100. He wins the 100 and the 200. And Matthew Bowling and Georgia are going to come second in all three races. I, I tell you what, I, I just don't think there's anything Matthew Bowling can do right now to beat Terence Laird. He was so lucky to have won that 200 meter indoor race. Terence Laird, you know, basically was cut off 
at the uh, the final stages of that race. I feel like he's just too quick. Coming up the middle of the track in he the is white too quick. top uniform for What LSU. a finish. Good exchange for him. Florida was even in What a finish. At this point. He's going to be in the Olympics. This is the, this is the third exchange And I don't there. think bowling will be. Look at this. But Joseph Fombiele from Florida. Oh, wow. See, Matthew Bowling is, is still, you know, he, he's raw. His his action is really, really raw. Whereas, you know, he's, he's a few inches um, taller and probably a few pounds heavier than Laird as well. But, you know, that action from Laird is so clinical. It is so precise. He does not waver. And he's just gone and brought it back for LSU. Fantastic. He had a bad exchange, but Terrence Laird came back on Houston at the Boots Garland Invitational. John Masagani doesn't even look like Houston. he's trying. He ran him down, and he ran Matthew Bowling down today. This guy is becoming legendary on that anchor leg of a four by one hundred meters. Just a nice warm up for Terrence well, Laird. LSU wins it with a facilities record thirty. A nice wee warm up. Followed by I will Georgia admit. and him in Kentucky. When we come and after back. this, we're on to the one hundred meter final, and here it is, guys. So, without further ado. I don't want to take up too much more of your time, but that was a pretty incredible, pretty exciting race. I mean, you know, you probably wouldn't even see me get up like that for a Olympic 4x100 meter final. So guys, thank you for the entertainment. You guys, thanks for watching. And now we're going on to the men's 100 meter final at the SEC Outdoor Track and Field Championship. Is bowling going to do it? I don't believe he will. Even if he gets the perfect start, which he has been working on, even if Laird is two, three, four, even five meters behind at the 20, 30 meter mark. He's going to bring it back. He's too fast and it's going to be exciting. So guys, I'll see you then. Thank you for watching and peace out.